Hello students, welcome once again to Chem is Try. In this series of videos we are going to produce, we'll be looking at WASI 2023 elective chemistry questions. Then we are going to look at their answers or their solutions. For this specific video, we are going to consider question one, the A to the E part. We look at the questions and we'll try and see if we can figure out the solutions or the answers together. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button to subscribe. And if you have any question you want to ask, if you have anything you think we have to include in our videos, you can add that one too in the comment section below. Okay, let's start by looking at question one. Now, in elective chemistry WASI, question one, it's a compulsory question and it normally consists of um, about nine sub questions from A to J. So, in this video, I'm going to look at the solutions to the questions A to E. Question number one A the question is define polymerization. Now, it's a process whereby we form polymers. But how do we put that one in the right perspective? We can define polymerization as the process whereby smaller units of molecules, which we call monomers. Monomers are the smaller units. Come together to form a large compound. Now, that large unit is what we call a polymer. So, bringing smaller, smaller, smaller molecules together to form a very big molecule. That process is what we call polymerization. An example is you have polythene bag. Now, the monomer is a thin. This is the formula for ethene. It is called a monomer because it is a smaller molecule, a smaller unit. Now, if you combine about 1,000 or 2,000 of these ethene molecules together, you form a very big unit, which we call a polymer. And that polymer is what we call polyethene which we know as polythene bag. So whenever you see that black polythene bag, remember, it is a polymer. It is a larger molecule, which is made up of monomers. And the monomers are simply ethene molecules. So polymerization can also be defined as the process whereby monomers are combined to form a polymer. Simple, huh? Several ways of defining it. Good. Let's look at the B part. State three characteristics of an equilibrium reaction. Characteristics of equilibrium reactions. Uh, this one falls under the topic chemical equilibrium. And when you enter ke chemical equilibrium, the first thing you learn is that Equilibrium reactions are always reversible reactions. That means the reactants combine to form products. The products break down back again to form reactants. So you see a symbol like this. Forward, then backward. Separating the reactants and the products. Now, these are what we call equilibrium reactions. So, what are the characteristics of equilibrium reactions? One, the reactions are reversible. The reactions are reversible. Two, the reaction occurs in a closed system. Closed system. Closed system. That means matter cannot come in. Matter cannot leave. 
But energy can come in, energy can leave. That is a closed system. So one, it's a reversible reaction. Two, it occurs in a closed system. Three, it is dynamic. When a reaction begins, we have the reactants. We don't have any product. So the reactants come together to form products. Reactants come together to form products. Reactants come together to form products. And as this proceeds, some of the products also break down to form back the reactants. Now, this one occurs until a point when the rate at which the reactants form products becomes equal to the rate at which products come back to form reactants. Now, at that point, we say a dynamic equilibrium has been established. So, apart from it being dynamic, it tells us the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backward reaction. Rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of backward reaction. That is another property of equilibrium reactions. We have stated four, eh? we are asked to state three. I think that's okay. Good. C, explain briefly why the reaction between dilute H2SO4, we know that one has sulfuric acid, eh? Uh -huh. And solid CaCO3, calcium carbonate, also called marble chips, stops after some time. Now, remember, this is an acid. This is a base. When this acid reacts with this base, this is a carbonate base, huh? So we are going to form a salt, water, and produce a gas. That gas is carbon dioxide. But the moment you use this acid and this base for that reaction, we are saying the reaction stops after some time. It's true. The reason why that happens is, as calcium carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid, we are going to form calcium sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide. These are going to be our product for the reaction. But the thing is, the moment calcium carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid, they form calcium sulfate. Now, this one forms a coating, a calcium carbonate. And the moment calcium sulfate forms a coating after, around, sorry, around this calcium carbonate, this sulfuric acid doesn't get to react with the calcium carbonate again. So imagine, so imagine we have a piece of calcium carbonate like this. Then we have sulfuric acid over here. Then we pour the sulfuric acid into a container containing the calcium carbonate. Remember this calcium carbonate we see here as a rock. It's made up of billions and trillions of calcium carbonate molecules. So a few of them react with a few of the sulfuric acid to form calcium sulfate. Now the remaining, this calcium sulfate will cover it so that the additional sulfuric acid added to it doesn't get to react with the calcium carbonate. So the reaction stops. So your answer? When calcium carbonate, or when sulfuric acid is added to calcium carbonate, we form calcium sulfate, which forms a thin layer around the calcium carbonate and prevents further reaction between the calcium carbonate and the sulfuric acid. It's just like a guy who likes a lot of ladies, okay? He is friends with a lot of ladies. Then she goes out to get this girlfriend, this jealous type of girlfriend. The moment the girlfriend comes inside, the jealous girlfriend 
blocks all other ladies from getting into contact with the boyfriend. So this is the boy. This is the girl. The girl comes to the boy. Then they form something. A jealous bond of, uh, of relationship. Then this jealous bond will prevent all other ladies from attacking the calcium carbonate. Now that is what really happens. Good. Next question, D. The D part is in two sections. The first part, what is meant by the statement matter is particulate? Matter is particulate. Now the word particulate emerges from the word particles. So matter is particulate means that matter is made up of particles. That's it. Then the I part, name two of the building blocks of matter. Those particles that make up matter are what we call the basic building blocks of matter. And those particles are atoms, ions, and molecules. Answer each question accordingly. So matter is particulate means matter is made up of particles. Then I, I, name two of the building blocks of matter. Atoms, ions, and molecules. Any two to score. The last question for this video. Explain briefly why a mixture of sodium chloride and ammonium chloride can be separated by sublimation. Sublimation is the process whereby a solid changes directly into a gas without passing through the liquid state. So if we have a mixture of sodium chloride and ammonium chloride and they are mixed together, how are we going to employ this approach to separate both? We just have to heat them. And when we heat the mixture, ammonium chloride, ammonium chloride has high vapor pressure. Sodium chloride has low vapor pressure. So when we combine them together and we heat them, what happens? Ammonium chloride will sublime. It will change directly from the solid to the gaseous state, leaving behind the sodium chloride. So the reason why this mixture can be separated by sublimation is simple. Ammonium chloride sublimes, but sodium chloride does not sublime. That is the reason. Now, this is the A to the E part of the question. In our next video, we are going to consider the F to the J part of the question so that question one will be done. Then we move on to question two, three, four, and five. Thank you.